begin with that breaking news. NYPD Commissioner Keyshawn Sewell is calling it quits after a year and a half on the job. We have team coverage tonight. Ali Bauman has reaction from police headquarters, but we begin with Tim McNicholas live in the newsroom with what we're learning about the resignation. Tim. Dick, Commissioner Sewell sent an email out to the entire department late this afternoon. She said since she started, the department has faced tremendous tragedy, challenges, and triumphs together. Let's take a look at this video here. This is from her historic swearing-in ceremony in January of last year. She is the first female commissioner in the NYPD's history. Sewell faced one of her first major challenges just a couple weeks later when officers Jason Rivera and Wilbert Mora were shot and killed in Harlem. The commissioner's email today said she's been honored to spend time with families of officers who have died in the line of duty. She said their loss is immeasurable. Their strength is incredible. The email to officers today does not say why she is resigning. It does say she was aware of the challenges officers faced before she arrived, and that's why she made officer wellness a priority. In her email to officers, she highlighted a pilot program that was recently introduced to allow officers more days off in exchange for longer shifts. And she highlighted highlighted recent changes to the overtime system, which she says will, quote, prevent disruptions to your personal lives. She said she hopes those will be lasting hallmarks of her time as the commissioner. Sue also mentioned her efforts to, dis to uh, change the discipline process and make sure it focuses on fairness and expediency. While we're still looking into all the reasons behind this decision, sources in the department say there has been some friction throughout her time as commissioner, as the mayor, a former police captain, has had a significant influence on just about every major decision she's had to make. Dick. All right, Tim McNicholas, thank you.